Merry Christmas, and Happy Hanukkah. Welcome all from Burke Neurological Institute. If you're excited for Christmas this year, can you scream? Can you say, yay for the holiday? Great. So we have a few things to get done today. One of those things includes a list with names who will be receiving presents. I love it when Santa gives out his presents. To get this party started, let's all sing a Christmas song. This is my personal favorite, called Jingle Bells. Does anyone know that song? Well, let's sing it. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh or the fields we go Awesome. As I said before, I really love Christmas. I love seeing Santa give his presents away each year. But there was this one year when Santa almost did not. Come close. There was a time when Santa almost didn't have a chance to make his trip around the world. I have the book right here. It's called The Untold Story of Santa's Workshop. Let's take a look. It was a beautiful day at Santa's elf shop. The elves were preparing for Christmas and Santa was giving out his orders to make sure that everyone's Christmas present was absolutely amazing this year. <laughs> Welcome, Jack. This is where all my elves work efficiently to make sure that Christmas is prepared properly. You guys are newcomers and I'll make sure that everyone treats you here with the proper respect. Thank you, Santa. No problem, Jack. Hey, Santa. Hey, Eltois. I just wanted to remind you that the presents have to be reorganized. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can't seem to figure out how they all got mixed up. You must be really organized, Santa. Oh, ho, ho. I try my best. Santa, you want to know the main reason why I love this season? I love Christmas for its incredible feeling of joy. Oh, that's what you should expect on the most wonderful time of the yeah. year. While all of the excitement was going on at Santa's workshop, the little baby elves were sitting around their teacher, Eltoir. It was a cold and shivering night here at the elf shop when Mrs. Claus's diamond necklace went missing. Santa didn't know what to do. He trusted absolutely everyone here at the workshop, but no one knew where the necklace went. Mrs. Claus claimed that the last place she saw the necklace was in her room in her beautiful jewelry box. But that night, she went to check and it was gone, and no one knew why. <gasps> Maybe one of the elves in the workshop stole it. Hmm. No, I mean, Santa would notice. It had to be an outsider. Hmm. Santa can see everything, can't he? Santa can see most things. But don't worry, Santa will get to the bottom of it. I sure hope so. Oh, it's important that we see to it that this workshop is under control. I don't know what shenanigans are going on here, but promise me you get this madness resolved. I will, sir. Anything I can help you with, Santa? Oh, well, Twar. There is just so much going on at this time. It is probably best if you just keep those little elves safe from hurt, harm, and danger. I would hate to see something dangerous happen to them. Of course, sir. Hey, Erlissa. Mm -hmm. Hey, Theodred. Can you believe all this is happening in the shop? I know. Maybe we can help. But how are we going to do that? Hmm. <gasps> we can help by finding the missing necklace and becoming detectives. 
Detectives? Yeah. You know, look for clues and spy on others. Hmm. Well, that does sound interesting. Hmm. Then let's do it. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Finally, all of the presents are organized. <laughs> you know, you guys have been very helpful on your first few days. <laughs> no problem, Santa. Now that we got to know each other, may I offer you a suggestion? Ho, oh, oh. ho. I love suggestions. All right. Well, you've been delivering presents on the night of December 24th for a very, very long time. Oh, that I have. Yeah, and people love you for that, man. The world loves you for that. So maybe to show your appreciation for their love, why don't you send the presents to them a day early? Hmm. Think about it. It'd be a real great surprise. In a different Christmas, especially now that the presents are organized all over again, you wouldn't want nothing else to happen to them now, would you? Oh, no, not at all. Well, hmm, thank you for that, Jack. I may actually consider. Hmm. As a matter of fact, I do consider. I mean, it's a great idea. This way the presents will be already delivered, and I can spend Christmas Eve night with my lovely Mrs. Claus. Hmm, Mrs. Claus. Uh, uh, Santa, you, you better get a move on. Tomorrow is December 23rd. Let all your elves know. Oh, oh, I shall let all the elves know that Christmas will be different this year. Santa is coming a day early, bringing jolly and joy to all the children of the world on December 23rd. Oh, oh, that's oh, right, oh, Santa. Oh, well, look what I found. Hey, that's the necklace. Yeah. A beautiful necklace, and it's definitely for me to keep. What? Keep? That is the necklace that belongs to Mrs. Claus. You should return it. That would be a really nice, cool thing to do. Cool? No, it would be cool for me to keep it as I take over the North Pole. Huh? What, what do you mean? I mean, when Santa leaves tomorrow... I'm going to banish him in the snow and be the new leader of the North Pole. Oh. And everyone will be eating out of the palm of my hand. <laughs> oh no, Santa. Whoa, did you guys hear that? He plans to take over the entire North Pole. Do you think Santa will find out? Well, why don't we find out? Let's look. Minutes later, Santa got onto the intercom and announced his big news. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. This just then. We will be delivering Christmas a day earlier to all of the beautiful children of the world. That's right, folks. A day early. I would like to thank all of my elves and mental elves for working so hard to get the presents back in order. We have decided to deliver Christmas on December 23rd instead of December 24th. I will see to it that once I return, we enjoy Christmas with our annual celebration. Whoa, did you hear that, Deirdre? I did. Hmm, maybe we should prank someone when they come in. Huh. Detectives don't prank. Hmm. Well, these detectives do. Hmm. Someone's coming now, let's hide. All right, Jay. You think they like the announcement? What announcement? The one Santa gave about delivering Christmas a day earlier this year. Oh, yeah. Did you ever return the missing necklace? Shh, shh, shh. No, I didn't. And why would I do that? Because that is the kind thing to do. Kind? Who cares about kindness? All I care about is having power, which is why I will finally have it. And it was me that unorganized those presents, by the way. Just for fun. And once I banish Santa into the snow, I will have more fun. And you will be there with me, right? Well, I don't know. Oh, just come on. Deirdre! Oh, no. It was Jack all along. He has the missing necklace, and he plans to banish Santa into the snow. Yeah. And the presents were unorganized because of him. We, we must, must warn Santa. Santa. Oh, oh. Gather around, everyone. What a wonderful day. 
Everyone, it's time for us to give our best wishes for a successful present delivery. Hello, love. Santa, Santa, we have something to tell you. Oh, no time for questions or comments. But Theodred, did you hear Santa? It's time for best wishes. Get in line. Eltoir, what do you want for Christmas this year? Hmm. What I would like for Christmas this year is kindness, caring, and sharing from everyone all around the world. I want everyone to be more open to loving each other. Hmm. That was amazing, Eltoir. What about you, Jack? What do you want for Christmas this year? Is it too much to say everything my heart desires? Yeah. That's why you plan to take over the entire North Pole. What? Oh, what are you talking about? And how rude of you to interrupt. Yeah, how rude of you to interrupt. Santa, Jack is a villain. He has the missing necklace and he plans to banish you into the snow. What? Oh, that's preposterous. No, Santa. Theodred is telling the truth. We know all about your plan, Jack. You're caught red-handed. By us, the detectives. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jack, I'm afraid we're going to have to check your pockets. Hold your hands up, please. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, Jay. They will only be frozen for a short period of time. Let's run for our lives. Come on, Jay. No, you are doing the wrong thing. And I don't want to be friends with someone who is doing the wrong thing. Oh! Oh. Oh. Thank you for that, Jay. Huh. No problem, Santa. Everything was his idea. It's not fair. I deserve it all. And why is that? Because I want to be king and have everyone bow down before oh. me. Jack, you have the most selfish, coldest, heartless minds of anyone I've ever met. And because of this, I name you Jack Frost. <gasps> oh my, I wonder what happened to him. Jack? <coughs> oh. Look what you've done to me. <sighs> I banish you from the North Pole. And the elf shop. You are never to return again. <laughs> oh, he's gone, and he'll never come back. Thank you, Erlissa. Thank you, dear Dread, for you have saved the elf shop. Oh, Ooh, great, great job, job detective. detective. And Jay. Thank you for saving the North Pole. No problem, Santa. And that is how you show kindness to the world. You know, the plan was to deliver Christmas early this year, but let's stick to tradition. Mm -hmm. Come on, everyone. Mm -hmm. Let's have our annual celebration tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And everyone celebrated Christmas happily and sang all night together. Wow. Did you hear the story? That was awesome. But now I think it's time for me to read the list of names for presents. So if your name is called, you get a present. Are you ready? Here we go. Antoinette. Asia. Amin. Avery. Yadziri. Haley. Leah. Rohan. Kai. Amin. Adira. Shantaro, China, Yo, Oliver, and Lucas. If your name was called, you get a present. Thank you all for coming out tonight, and Merry Christmas, and hope to see you all again real soon. <laughs>